Today's video, I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to to get the the Apotheon server and as well upgrade it in a certain manner. I know a lot of there are some people that requested me to, to make a tutorial about this because they were having trouble and they didn't even know the upgrade steps or how to get the Apotheon um, from um, Revelations. Now, the way how to get the Apotheon first is that we need to hit the box the meaning that i recommend you to equip a fire cell and get some points um because it's going to require you to get um a decent amount of points um to to get the apothecary i recommend you if you're actually doing this on solo then i recommend you doing it by keeping a zombie and it's just going to be really 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 good so yeah, so I want to open all the map with shopping free because it just makes everything much easier as you can see here I'm gonna get majority of the doors, but there I am gonna be probably missing the only doors I'm gonna probably be missing is Mob of the dead and we're gonna try to hit for the emulation if you don't get an emulation and then and you don't have one Then I recommend you to instantly um instantly try to get some points to get the to get to hit the box make sure you go do it in an area where you, you'll be able to be safe and once you actually do that you need to get the apothecary servant all right once you get the apothecary servant pick it up from the box and it pretty much you can get um 950 points if you want to but i reckon i didn't get it with emulation liquidation as i wanted it to so i actually had to spend points as you can see i have the thunder gun as well but um, to do this, you want, want I recommend you keeping a zombie, and the first one is gonna be probably a mob of the dead. So you want to be careful because in the if it's not if you're not like in a dog round, it can be very very frustrating because you have to see where these little things are, and we're gonna shoot one here because yeah. So you want to look around into this area, and you'll see you should see a blue like a blue blue kind of rock. Sometimes, like as you can see here, we see a blue rock from over here, but we're looking for one close to right here. If you can't find it, then just come back here later. Oh, you found it right here. It's like right here next to this rock. Shoot at it, and it should hit, hit it direct on pack, and then we got that first one. Let's go head over to the next one, which should be in Verrocked. The next one in Verrocked, are two, are two in Verrocked that you need to get, and these are two pretty much simple. Usually the first one can be right here and it can be very hidden very closely like right here. It's right there. If you miss, don't worry about it. It's it's all good, but we didn't miss on that one, so we were safe on that one. Make sure I, I didn't save a zombie this round, which was really stupid of me, but it was had to be done. Um, but I recommend you if you're playing co-op have another player um, train a zombie for you to be able to do this Because this makes it much more easier the second one is right over here where the corruption machine is and you want to shoot, shoot directly at it Sometimes you can shoot right directly next to it and it will still suck it up make to confirm that you actually got it It'll disappear so the next location is going to be in Dreisendrock. So we're going to make our, our way to Dreisendrock and make our way there. You can go through Noct through the portals and you instantly get it through there. And it will be very simple to do this because if you have all the corruption machines enabled, so you don't have to literally go back and forth um, getting it. So the next one is in Dreisendrock. That's another corruption machine and you need to shoot at this rock that's right here and that is the other one that you need to get so the next one we can get there is usually one at spawn so i'm not fully sure if there is um so let's go check um you can see one from from over here if you from over here from shangri-la and i think that I believe that one's the spawn one and you can shoot it from right here sometimes if you miss you can just shoot it again and it, sometimes but sometimes you'll have like a visual glitch where we don't see it but once it's gone it's gone and yeah all right once you actually trap the a Potskin servant, you want to make the Potskin, not Potskin servant, I believe, the Potskin worm, you want to make your way to pack a punch and you, you you make sure you have 5,000 points to allow you to, uh, to, uh, to pack a punch 
to get the pack of punch you need to you need to shoot these little things that's around his stomach and once it does it allows you that pack of punch will drop you can actually shoot a nepotkin's um servant um bullet and you can see if you're able to pack a punch now if for example if the pack if there's no option to pack a punch the apothecary is not available then pretty much you have you missed a rock and you need to go back and shoot them all again i showed you all locations of where they all at and it's pretty much hard to, to see especially if you're not on a dog round or like a a bug round so i recommend you doing this on a bug round you can do this on pre on other rounds but i recommend you to uh aside from spending my hard earned blood to uh to do this on the bug rounds because uh, the whole sky turns red and it's just simpler than that um what happens when you actually pack a punch this is that the zombies are, are it lasts pretty much for a very very long time it lasts for longer so instead of lasting for like about five ten five to ten seconds it'll last for 20 seconds more seconds and it just will will never get old and it's just pretty simple and i'm going to show you guys that what this looks like when you pack a punch it and you should be able to instantly go there so hold on so once you actually pack punch this you pack punch it and you'll be able to use the apothecary servant once you actually get the apothecary servant and you do the upgrade steps then you'll be able to upgrade it once you actually shoot it it'll turn red so it, it pretty much lasts a long time it, it really isn't as ineffective with with Marguas and as well panzers so i recommend you pack a punching the thunder gun to kill the mag to, to kill the Marguas and the panzers if you guys did enjoy this tutorial be sure to drop a like and if you're brand new and you came up to my channel be sure to drop a like and as well click that bell button so you don't miss out any new uploads or live streams i ever do on zombies i hope you guys thought this tutorial was very informative because this was requested from some of my subscribers to be able to do this um upgrade step i hope you guys did enjoy it and i'll see you guys next time Peace.